it is Fangs, and welcome to a video that you guys have been asking for on my channel today. I'm going to be doing none other than my boot collection, which you can see them kind of behind me right now. I'm going to grab them. You can see some to the side and some here. Now, I've been filming in this room because it has really good lighting from a window that's in front of me, but I awkwardly have like my guest bed in the background, so let me know what you guys think about that. If it's fine, if you think the lighting is good and you like the room, then tell me that. It has some pretty okay acoustics as well, so I use that to my benefit. But you guys have been asking to see my boot collection and over the last year I have acquired quite a few pair of boots. Now disclaimer, I am not amazing at football or soccer at all. I'm gonna let you know that. Like I played it up until 8th grade. I didn't learn like the best techniques. I did play in a women's league in Austin and I ended up getting a high angle sprain that had me out for two months. So I totally stopped after that. So I have no technique. Um, I've just learned to start kicking the ball about eight or nine months ago whenever I started doing these videos and I've not been properly taught by anybody. So that's why my technique is so bad. Now I want to change that so whenever I get back from Zambia, which in this video when this is happening, I'll be in Zambia right now. When I get back, I'm going to hire a trainer to try to learn some technique. I'm also going to work with hopefully that uh, high school team and Alita that I told you guys about and I'm going to try to learn how to kick the ball at least properly to make these videos whenever I do the reviews of the different boots a little bit more interesting. But I don't ever plan on being like really amazing. I don't think that collecting boots has anything to do with being amazing at the sport. Now I know I honestly understand that some people do want to have these boots because they actually play the sport and they want the boot, but the boot doesn't make the player. The player makes the player. So it doesn't really matter what you're wearing. If you're good at the game, you're going to be good at the game. I'm a collector of these because I like the colors, I like how they look. I actually like playing outside, I like playing football, even if it's just for fun, and I want to have an awesome boot while I'm doing it. Now, I gave away a pair of boots before, and I want to do that again today, in this video. If this video right here, and these are expensive, like, I, I'll pay up to the amount of what they go for, which a lot of these, like, these go for $300, so I'll pay that much if the person requests that boot. So this video right here has to get to 20,000 likes. If you guys can do that for me, it helps me out a ton, and I want to help you out by giving you a pair of boots. 20,000 likes, put what kind of boot you like in the comments down below, put your boot size as well, please give me the US boot size, and we will give away a pair of boots. They're not going to be these boots, I'm actually going to purchase you your own boots. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the boot video. Now I want to start with the very first pair of boots that I purchased whenever I was going, like I just started making videos, I forever was just kicking with normal shoes on and it was killing me, I was toe punting for one which was terrible. When I first started, I actually fractured uh, two of my toes doing that, and so it was stupid of me. But I went out, um, I went searching an academy, and I just purchased, I didn't know what I was looking for. So I purchased this boot right here. As you can see, it's the Mercurial, it's Nike. It's actually a really beautiful boot, but it's the cheap version. They only cost me like 80 bucks, and so I guess... The difference in them is, you know, obviously the spikes and everything that comes with the material, but this was the cheaper version. I went out and purchased it. These are actually a size 8, so whenever I try them on now, they are way too big for me. But I love them. I'm glad that they were able to be my very first boot. And in this video with all these boots, I'm going to show you a couple of penalty shots I'm going to take with them. I don't have anyone trying to block it or anything like that, but I'm going to take a couple of penalty shots with each boot. first pair of boots I ever bought they are too big I can tell like I, I should have gotten them smaller but they're like the cheap version like the $80 pair the glasses on I play better oh keeper would never been able to stop that it was a beautiful pea roller because those boots are so cheap. After a while, I decided, you know what? I want a real, actual, expensive pair of boots. And I went out and I purchased these. These are Magistas, the Nike Magistas. I hope I say that right. I'll never think I do correctly. These are the ACC version, all conditions control. Trust me, the expensive pair. They've got the beautiful spikes on the bottom. Everything is just these, the heat sensor right here. This is supposed to be like where you can bam, kick that ball right there, bam, kick that ball right there, and you're supposed to get all kinds of power. And I actually do believe that I love the way that these made me. These got me in a little bit better into like, my technique's not awesome, but I mean, they got me into a little bit more of a habit of kicking where I should properly kick, which I guess more shows should be like maybe 
like up here along the laces. I'm trying to be more on the laces and then get some power off of it. Now, I, you guys did tell me in a lot of my videos I need to stop trying to like curl it in right here because that's not how I should be taking shots and I should get more power and go underneath it right here. So I'm gonna try to, there's another video that you would have probably seen already where I didn't do it, but I'm gonna try to start shooting my shots like right here because I, I take it that that's where it's supposed to be and I just don't know that. Like obviously I'm not gonna know that unless you guys tell me. So thank you for telling me that. But I love these. These came with this bag right here, which is, I like that they come in the bags, because then they have something to hold them in. And I always have like random stuff in these bags. I guess over time I've just collected stuff. Let's take a look and see what the shots look like with this beautiful boot. Let me get close, hold on, before we go. This is what it looks like. Go all the way around in its beauty. Oh, it's such a nice boot. So nice. First fly pair of boots I ever owned. They got the heat sensor right there. I might have to hit it right there. Give me a pull. For different angles. These boots are all in my way. Oh! Hit it right there. Got way too much power. Oh, beautiful. Keep it would have stopped it. Right up the middle. After that boot, Umbro sent me three pairs of different boots. And if you guys are wondering where I get a lot of Umbro stuff, I love West Ham, and so I've been working with Umbro. They're not like my complete sponsor yet. Maybe they could be, um, but I've been working with Umbro and they send me a lot of their nice boots. Uh, I used to love, like back in whenever I played, Umbro was the top one. And these are going to be the, how do you say this? They always make these names that I'm so, Velocita 2 Pro HD Umbros. I like the color in these. Um, they aren't the most comfortable for me on this pair, but I still do like the cover. They're lightweight. I like the color. They have this, like, firm spikes. I don't know if you can see. They're a lot different than some of the other pairs, but it helps me at least be able to, like, pivot into the ground very nicely, which I like. But this is this color. It's got, it's like a red and an orange, so they sent me that pair, and we're gonna take a look at some shots that I take with that. My final umbro pair, I'm gonna go left-footed with. I love those colors. They're gorgeous. I got caught in the turf again, the turf monster! At the same time, they also sent me what I think is some of the cleanest looking boots I have ever owned. These actually fit amazing. They're the Acura UX, they're amazing boots. This blue, it's to die for, it's white. I almost don't wanna wear them in videos anymore because I'm gonna get them more dirty. I already have, get your touch control right here on this side. And then just the, oh my God, just every little piece of them is amazing. They still smell new, all of mine, because I haven't got a chance to wear them as much as I can. This is the Umbro UX Acura Pro HGs. Just literally the coloring is orgasmic. I can't say anything more about them. Everything is good. They fit so comfortably. This right here, this cushion whenever I'm taking shots is so nice and I just freaking love it. The control, I'm not very good at dribbling, but I control the ball a little bit better with these, I feel like. You need to put both on, so first boot, let's see. Umbro. A little low. Ooh, curled that one in, no problem. And at the same time, you guys saw these come about in my uh, video where I did the pool hole challenge. This was my third pair that they sent me. Also love these as well. Not as comfortable as the last white pair that I showed you. But these are the Medusa Pro, I believe, as well. Yeah, Medusa, you can see it right there. These actually are really nice. They're not my favorite coloring. I don't like black too much. I mean, it depends. If the black's got like a mixture of a lot of yellow and stuff, then I like it. But right here, you have this like really nice padding over your toe, so whenever you're taking shots, it's really nice. Not that you want to kick it with your toe, but you know what I mean. Like right here where the ball just smacks it, it's not going to be that bad. And then the bottom, you can see right here, these have had a little bit of use in the pool. Look how dirty they are. So they sent all three of these at the same time. Let's see what our shots look like with this bad boy. You guys can remember these from their beautiful pool hole crossbar challenge. They made their uh, appearance there. God, I'm getting, I think my legs are already dead. All the way through. Ooh, that's a nice little curve. So my dad started seeing my boot collection videos and he started noticing I like them. So he asked me if there was any kind of pair that I wanted for my birthday. And I said, if you could somehow find some Neymar Jordans, I'll take them. And he went out and he got these Neymar Jordans. This is probably the flyest, they're already so dirty, but the flyest pair of boots I will ever earn, I will ever own in my entire life. They're Hypervenoms. They are the Neymar Jordan version. There's another one that has the 23 on there for Jordan, the 11s for Neymar. I got the white pair. I almost would like to have the black pair. If there's any way I could get it, have the sock version of the black pair. But if you go all the way around, oh, look at that Jordan symbol right there. That is just beautiful. 
You got this inside of the boot. Oh, hold on. They still smell good. I've worn them and they still smell good. That's probably disgusting that I would even do that. Look at me on the inside. You get the Neymar symbol and the Jordan symbol. This is just all the coloring, everything is so nice. And the bottom even has the Jordan symbol there. Obviously a lot of dirt. These are probably my second most favorite pair of boots. I'll show you my first in a second. All right, I haven't worn these in a minute and they've gotten pretty dirty over time. But I got the Jordan side of the Neymar Jordans. Oh, did they just make me do that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It's good. Now, at one point I expected to buy these CR7 Mercurial boots and I thought I was gonna do that, but I didn't have to because I did one of my lovely peel box openings and a viewer named Paul sent me these insane CR7 boots and they are absolutely amazing. I actually wear these quite a lot. Just take a look at the bottom of this. Take a look at the shape. I don't know if you guys can tell, like the way that it's outlined right here and the spikes, they, oh, it's just amazing. It's amazing. And then take a look at the top here. You go around to the side beautiful and then you come into the inside and their CR7 sparkles just awesome you got the sock for the top of the boot these have been used quite often now the coloring I love everything about them I should use it maybe one time for the video and maybe like put them away because they could maybe be worth something one day I don't know if they can that's nothing that I've like researched in my boot collection videos but these have been amazing Paul Paul's who gave these to me. I still love you for these, Paul. These are awesome. I will cherish these forever. Let's see what kind of shots I get with them. Oh, oh crossbar. Not too bad. You got the turf right there, the turf monster. After that, Doobie decided that it would be awesome. I told him that I wanted some boots for Christmas, and so he went out and made some custom hypervenoms. Nike makes just uh, their boots, I only have one pair of Adidas, so I haven't got to really go into the Adidas realm of boots yet, but Nike boots just fit so amazing. There's some of the Umbro ones do as well. There's one pair I'm about to show you that does, but this one he actually customized. He did all of it, so he made the Nike stripe. Let me get up closer here. He made the Nike stripe right here where it's got, it's almost like a tiger looking print onto the gray outside here. He did all of this. Look how bright and neon that is. Like, it makes me want to cry even just looking at it. This is... My favorite pair of boots. I cannot lie. This is my favorite pair of boots I've ever received. They're comfortable Nike IDs. We got the bottom right here. Haven't got to wear them too much I've been on turf with them. So I know I need to get turf boots actually That's something that I need to start diving into Been on turf with them But these are just exceptionally beautiful and then look right here. We got these laces. Oh best part Can you get in can it can it show it? It has American flag, it has my number 32, and it has fangs. These boots are awesome. Let's see how we do with the shot. The fangs officials, they match my beautiful Alito. By the way, this is not me being pregnant, okay? Last time someone asked because the wind was blowing and I looked like this, it's just not form fitting. I got another shirt underneath here. Alito shirt though, thank you Alito High School. That was really nice. CR7 pair of boots, so that's the CR7 bag, and this was the Jordan one. The Jordan bag is the best bag by far. That's the Jordan bag. That is just ridiculous. And then the Nike IDs, I wish they would have come, they should have customized the bag to be like the Nike IDs. I think so. Nike. Next time you should probably customize the bag. Thank you. So I'd like to work with Adidas sometime in the future. I decided to buy my first pair of boots for Adidas because I saw these, I saw Paul Pogba rocking these bad boys and I was like, I have to try them. They're my first laceless pair of boots and they are immaculate. They're super light. Look at the bottom of them where you have your like white spikes, you have your pink spikes. The inside, oh, this freaking can control skin right here just beautiful outside right here we've got the pink going around the adidas symbol oh my god these are so fly i don't even know how to handle them it's ridiculous inside here look at this oh it, oh and the for you forget the master control on the inside this is like a boost added for extra comfort and control so that's what that is in there i found out which is nice and i have another insert that came with it these were awesome they also came with 
a more a different I like this one it kind of separates it says the color treatment will begin to wear off over time with use okay cool um, anyway it separates the two so you can like place it in here into two different areas and it has like a separation so I love that part about the Adidas bag let's look and see how I did with these guys these are the brand new babies we love them we love them yes nobody could have stopped that to send me some more amazing boots. We got the Umbro Especiales, which are the most comfortable. I can say hands down, the most comfortable looking boots. They look they have more like of a retro 90s feel to them, I feel like, because I know I had a pair like this when I was younger. You get the wishbone on the bottom, the most comfortable pair of boots you will place on your foot. The, oh, the cushion, everything about them is just amazing. I was so happy that they sent these to me. Made and designed in England. Guys, this is all for you guys. So let's see how we do with our shots on these Umbros. Comfortable boot you will ever put on your feet. I want to get more top bins. I want to go higher. This is another pair of the UX Acuras that I also got the same time I got those. These are like the white ones with the blue, but they're just this purple Barney color with green, which I thought they were pink, but I still love it. Coloring by Umbros, I have to say, is just amazing. It's immense. And these, just like the other ones, they, I get the control there. I have the touch control on the outside. Everything about them is awesome, and they still smell new. I'm sorry, I'm always smelling them. They still smell new, and they're still awesome. This pair of boots, comfortable, light, amazing. It's a comfortable pair, but they are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Oh, first time I've like actually missed not hitting the crossbar or anything. I need that. Marty's like, I don't know how they do it without just killing this. It's just a bad technique is all. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for my boot collection video. Now, I'm gonna keep collecting them. Even if people get upset, I'm gonna keep collecting boots. I think I have an awesome pair coming from Nike soon enough. I think they're gonna send me one. Hopefully they will. Um, let me know some ideas of ones that you wanna see on my channel in the comments down below. I'd love to pick up some more, see how they feel, because I just like having them. I collect them, they make me happy. It's like having like baseball cards or when people collect football cards. I collect football boots. I love using them. It's been an awesome experience so far getting them. I'm like this with regular tennis shoes as well. I could show you my tennis shoe collection. It's pretty ridiculous. You might not agree with some of my selections, but I love it. Anyway, that is gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget 20,000 likes. I'll give away any kind of boot you want that is like $300. I'm not gonna go buy some like $1,500 signed Ronaldo boot, okay? But like these, $300, $300, you know what I mean. Put it in the comments down below your size, what type of boot you like. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.